It was at this house in January 2023 that the lives of Michael Corey Jenkins and Eddie Parker would take a dramatic turn. Six now former Mississippi police officers entered the house without a warrant. According to court documents, Jenkins and Parker were beaten, sexually assaulted, waterboarded and shocked with tasers for roughly 90 minutes while handcuffed. One of the officers then put a gun in Jenkins's mouth and pulled the trigger. They brought me in the room where I was, I was on the couch. And... He was looking at me, I was looking at him, and he sat there for a minute, and he pulled the trigger. Parker still lives at the house. Most of it went down, as far as the, the torture session, it, it went down, you know, mainly in here. Uh, like here you can see the, the stains there from the uh, the waterboard. But I mean, I saw it, you know, it was like slow motion. You know, you can see the bullet, you know, coming out of the gun. I mean, the fire coming out and it just, I mean, it was it was horrific, man. The bullet lacerated Jenkins's tongue and broke his jaw before exiting his neck. As Jenkins lay on the floor, the officers devised a cover up that led to false charges that stood against the victims for months. But Jenkins and Parker eventually began to tell their side of the story. The horrific events that took place at this house are difficult to comprehend. And although the police officers attempted to cover up their tracks, the attack caught the attention of the US Justice Department's Civil Rights Division. As pressure mounted from the Justice Department probe in June last year, one of the officers came forward and revealed the truth. In August, all six former officers pleaded guilty. They will soon be sentenced. Like a pile of rock lifted out of me. Like the sun came out. The only thing I could do was uh was cry, you know. It was uh I got I got validated. I felt validated for what I was saying. That let me know that justice, you know, is justice. An Associated Press investigation found that several of the deputies who were involved were also linked to other violent and sometimes deadly encounters with black men since 2019. It happened to me for a reason to bring other folks cases that you know, swept on the rug out in the night as well. I got a whole lot of hope. It'll make my great, great, great grandkids. It will let them have uh, a different life or uh, I hope they won't they will never have to worry about this. Jenkins is still in pain. He struggles to eat and talk and he has nightmares. But he hopes the sentencing of the former officers will provide a major first step forward, both for himself and for justice. Dan Williams CGTN, Braxton, Mississippi.